everyone, it's Fantasia. So it's that time of year again. We are going over the top mods of 2023. I do this every year and I'm also going to have a video going over my top used mods of 2023. But today we're just going over the mods that I feel like are the top mods of the year. The ones that were just amazing, blew me away. And first up, we have the childbirth mod, specifically the updates that it has come out with this year. So this mod has been out since 2022, but there's been multiple updates, like three updates that came out in 2023. So we're going to be getting into that with our sim here. Our sim here is pregnant and we're going to do a couple of the gameplay features. So I'm sure you guys are familiar with the childbirth mod. You need to get to work and then you can go to the hospital and actually have your sim give birth in a realistic way. You can have C-sections. But like I said, that part of the mod came out in 2022. So I do have videos on my channel if you guys want to check out my mod review playlist if you haven't seen this mod. But when you have this mod installed, you're going to be able to go onto your phone and call the obstetrician. So the reason I want to do this is simply so that we can do some of the newer things that did come out this year. So for example, there is now the option to get pregnancy checkups and we can go ahead and go. So we're going to do that. We're going to have her just go on her own. Okay. So once you get to the hospital, you're going to start your pregnancy checkup. You're going to have to do a few things to prepare unless you've already done it. So if your hospital is already set up, you can even place a new hospital. We're just working with the base one today, but I really like when there's like a custom hospital place down because it just feels even more realistic. You're going to want to go ahead and turn your cheats on and then do BB dot enable free build. And then it's going to allow you to go into build mode because you're going to have to do that. And then you can get an ultrasound machine. So that's something we can do today. So we're just going to put an ultrasound machine right here because why not? And then we can also get pap smears, which is crazy. So you can do this even when a sim's not pregnant. Okay, so then we have the pap smear bed. So this is what it looks like. Looks just like a real one. So I'm going to place that there. And then we're going to go ahead and do both things for her. So we're going to get a pap test. Like I said, you don't have to be pregnant to do this one. There's also so many little things that came with the updates throughout the year. There's also a lactation update, which is going to allow you to do breastfeeding in a whole new way. You're going to be able to pump and everything and there's lactation cookies and all of that fun stuff. So I might get into showing you guys that as well, but for that, she's going to have to have the baby. So I'll probably just quickly do that at home, but here we go. This is so cool to me. Maybe it's just because I'm a girl, but we're, I, I don't want to like show you guys because my, as you can see, my G shade really lets you see things and we're going to turn it off. Actually, we might be able to turn it on in a way where like, cause it doesn't show any private parts, but I want to show you guys the tool. Like she will literally look, look at that. She will literally grab the tools and like, that's kind of weird to like look at, but like there's, there's nothing actually there. I don't have any, I don't have like the unblur version of Wicked Whims or anything like that. So like it's not it's just a doll like basically there's no actual graphic anything graphic happening there it's just weird because the blur is like so see through but i've shown it before in a video and it's just so crazy how realistic that is okay so then it says you are all done it just tells you some information there is no indication of any issues but you have to wait for the lab results so there will be lab results that you will get but not right away you can do ultrasound preference you can keep it a surprise or you can know the gender i love this feature we want to know the gender and then we can start the ultrasound scan. So we're just gonna have the same person do it here. Okay, so here we go. This would be really cool if you like made this a very realistic ultrasound room, honestly. Okay, and look at here. The screen actually like turns on and everything. You'll see, like, look at that. Isn't that so cool? I just love it. And you can change what she's wearing if you'd like to, if you want like her stomach to be showing how it would be. And then it says, congratulations, you're pregnant. Based on the ultrasound scan, it looks like you're expecting one healthy baby. Everything looks good so far, but we'll continue to monitor your pregnancy and the baby's development to make sure everything stays on track. This is an exciting time and we're here to support you every step of the way. The ultrasound scan shows that you're expecting a healthy baby boy. Aww. Yay. So we also have a moodlet from the pap smear. Getting the sample was a little uncomfortable, but the speculum didn't hurt. Faya is just glad to be done with it. So there we go. She's done. And now we have already in love from ultrasound scan. Faya can sometimes feel her baby kicking around in her belly, but it's another thing to finally see them on the screen. Faya is filled with joy at the sight of her baby and is feeling a sense of amazement and awe at the miracle of life. She can hardly wait to meet her child. So cute. Okay. So we do have the ultrasound scan here. I'll show you guys really quickly. 
quickly and then we're going to move on to the next mod i think there's more to it we got the lactation update like i mentioned i did do a video on that so there is other things like a breast pump and everything but yeah look at this so next up we have the divergent sims mod this is a must have for me this is going to add so much realism also so much realism with like mental health we do keep getting like notifications from it normal variable self-esteem that's one thing you can get from it a sim self-esteem is important to his overall mental health and physical emotional well-being it also plays a role in a sim self-image or how a sim sees themselves river self-esteem is normal and variable he has a healthy and normative level of natural confidence while river's self-image is generally positive it is variable and vulnerable to external forces it won't take as much to waver as it would for someone with higher self-esteem self-esteem can be built by building up confidence exercising and engaging in wellness activities self-help activities and therapy this is another thing from the mod river is neurotypical that means that this sim's brain functions similarly to most other sims of the same age so he's a teenager he's also neurotypical same with you everyone might be the same in this household i don't know but obviously there's other options that you can get there okay so another option you're gonna see with this mod is mental health services there's a whole bunch of things you can do here you can go to therapy you can go to a support group there's psychiatric evaluation so you can like figure out things i think we might have her go do that and like move on to the next mod there's lots of things that you can get diagnosed with you can get diagnosed with adhd you can get diagnosed with depression anxiety all of those sorts of things okay the next mod i want to show you guys is the soulmates mod and this is like one of my new favorite mods i am in love with it i don't know if any of these sims are soulmates okay no they just have like the regular soulmates thing so this is the one that comes with the game but this mod expands on the soulmates and i love it and it might happen if i go ahead and you know like instead of cheating it if i was to just go ahead and do some romance with some sims it might end up happening like who knows right we'll just kind of see oh okay so going back to the divergent sims upon evaluation caroline has been diagnosed with a mental health disorder schizophrenia disorder sims with this disorder can experience hallucination delusions and are easily distractible nor hold great interest in finishing activities sims usually do not experience or outwardly show a wide variety of emotions nor are they particularly interested in social interactions or working to maintain relationships regular therapy sessions are highly recommended the psychiatrist presented the option of medication is that something that she's interested in okay let's go ahead and do this for this video okay so now we got our medication and she is currently dissociated now keep in mind this is the sims so i do just want to like put that out there of course anyone can dissociate this is a very common thing to happen to anyone even if you just have anxiety or depression or something traumatic happened in your life it makes sense for the sims because what are they going to do but in real life people sometimes dissociate every single day especially if they're going through a hard time so i just want to put that out there like keep in mind these are just mods and there's only so much creators can do and there's going to be things that you know they try to be very realistic with but they might not be exactly the way it is in real life so anyways she's gonna go ahead does she have her medicine okay here we go the pharmacist has written caroline a prescription she can fulfill it at the pharmacy so you're gonna have to do that at the pharmacy so we're gonna do that for her online pharmacy and then we can get her meds so you can get as much as you want it's super fast and then we can take our medication she's literally bleeding like girl i'm so sorry but yeah she has her medication in her and that should help her holding steady while not feeling completely unagitated but the medication does help to mellow caroline's aggressiveness and irritability oh okay it's happening you guys the soulmate mod back to that one holden has known caroline for a while now but somehow things are different now holden had always thought that he would recognize his soulmate from the moment he met her but it turns out that love was right under holden's nose all along so he's actually falling in love with caroline oh wait so now that that's happening they do have a little bit of romance going on right away and then if we open this up you can see there's a new soulmate symbol so their soulmates there's more to this mod obviously i actually have included this in a recent mod showcase video where i'm able to go more in depth with it because you know it's not like a top mods of the year type of video but yeah they are gonna get some new like interactions they can do and they get this moodlet here near the one i love things just feel a little bit brighter when holding 
Sheldon is near his soulmate. So these will be random. And then we also have found the one holding him. Believe it. It didn't even seem possible, but he has found the one. So on the topic of love, I feel like Reagan is wanting to date someone. She's seeing them in love. Like, you know, she's like, okay, when is it my turn? So there is this really cool new mod, you guys. I actually think it's still in early access, but by the time this goes up, I'm not sure if it is, but it still might be. So just keep that in mind. However, I believe this is the only mod that's in early access. So this is actually very new and I'm glad it came out at the end of the year so I can include it, but this is the fruity sim dating app. So create fruity sim profile. This is so cool to me. You guys should also see like a full in-depth review on this on my channel shortly or before this video actually. So Reagan, welcome to fruity sim. On this dating app, you may find the love of your life, engage in spicy relationships, or chat with people as interesting as you are. We recommend having a few moments to edit your fruity sim profile and answer some questions about your preferences for age, gender, and relationship. To receive match requests based on those preferences, however, you can edit your profile later from the app. Would you like to edit your profile right now? Okay, let's do it. Okay, isn't this so cool? So choose type of relationship. The fruity sim app offers you four types of relationships. Banana for spicy and one night stands. Cherry, for sims who want to chat peacefully before getting serious. Peach, means you want a strictly platonic relationship. Orange, means you're looking for something serious. Which type of relationship do you prefer? Um, for the drama, we're going for banana. <laughs> because I live for the drama. All right, choose an ideal age. Perfect, let's go on. Regarding the age of sims you'd like to chat with, would you prefer young adults, adults, or mature sims? We're gonna do young adults. Last question for real, do you prefer men, women, or both? Let's go ahead and do I wanna chat with everyone. This is so fun. Okay, profile successfully edited. Thank you for taking the time to edit your profile. From now on, you will receive match requests from other fruity sim users, but only according to your preference criteria. You can disable these requests at any time from the app. So let's close this window. Then we get this notification here that says you created your fruity sim profile. You can now chat with the app community and make beautiful connection. So now we can delete fruity sim profile, choose gender preferences. Choose, okay, so you can change all of that. Disable match request, block user. I love that that's an option. If you block someone, you will lose your fruity sim affinity, friendships, and romance with this person. If you unblock this sim later, you will have to work hard to restore this relationship. So cool. View all user profiles. View profiles of Young adults. Let's do that one. And look, this is so cool. I love it. Do we have to choose Akira? Yeah. <laughs> oh, we got a new like. Your profile is attracting. Chat with the fruity sim community and you'll, okay, now this is popping up, but it says, and you'll make wonderful connections. View Akira's profile on fruity sim. I like, I love paying the bill at the restaurant. I want people to like me. What? Am I impressionable? Um, we're gonna like. <laughs> Just because it's Akira, you liked someone. Maybe it will be mutual. From the Fruity Sim app, you can see if the person matched with you in return or not. Just wait for the person to answer. You guys, this is so realistic. I absolutely love it. Everyone's going to pee themselves. <laughs> Let's go ahead and head onto the app again. And didn't we get a like? So how do we see our likes? Oh, wait. Is it one of those things where you can only see it if they like you back the person you liked will soon give you an answer be patient shouldn't we be able to see like the likes we're getting that's the only confusing part about this mod you guys but i don't know if i'm just like missing something i don't know i guess we'll wait and see we're gonna try to like match with someone else though let's do i don't know let's do becca and we'll do one last sim okay we're gonna just gonna do like oh i should have read what it said though because their profile say something i'll do it for the next one maybe she wants to hook up with a vampire let's go for it let's see what his profile says i feel like she'd be into vampires to be uh. honest Okay, one night in Paris, another in New York. My heart and mind travel and hope that you will join me for this fabulous adventure called life. The rest we'll see. Is that romantic enough for you? <laughs> okay, let's like, I feel like he's kind of like wanting something more serious. But anyways, of course there's more to that mod, but we're gonna leave it there. And if she does get a match during this video, then awesome. So the next mod I'm gonna share with you guys is literally so simple, but like, it's just good. Like it had to be in the top mods and that's the friend finder mod. So you can call hotline or invite Sim over. We're going to call the hotline. This literally just makes it easier for your Sim to make friends. And I feel like that's a must have in this game. Oh no, I think she's struggling with depression from the other mod. From the Divergent Sims, you guys, stuff keeps happening with that one. 
Anyways, we just met Katrina because she chatted on the hotline. Isn't that cool? Basically, it's like so simple. So, so simple. If you guys are confused of how that works, like literally you just like call the hotline and you'll make new friends. And obviously if you don't want your soon to be friends with one of the friends they become friends with, just put their relationship down. Like it's not a big deal. But I feel like it's such a great way to like inspire you to have your soon to make friends and then they can like have outings with them. So I just, it's just, it, it's, it's a good mod to have. The next one I want to go over with you guys is the Apricot Rush Food Overrides. Oh my god, they make such good food overrides. I have a whole bunch of them, like even meals that you cook look better, which I might show you too. But first, I want to show you guys some of the quick meals. So let's go ahead and have, let's do some yogurt. So the yogurt just looks so much better. So you can only imagine. Look at how much better that looks than what we usually get and then like that's not all she's not feeling the greatest so we're gonna have you come cook he seems to be feeling fabulous so we're gonna have you have dinner honestly i don't know like how many things i have overrides for i just have a whole bunch of them like i could honestly just show you guys them on the website actually i'm gonna just have you cook breakfast because i know one thing i have for sure we're gonna do eggs and toast it's one of the most popular made recipes in the game anyways uh that we've just found out so why not he's feeling hungry he wants some breakfast for dinner okay so as i said it just looks so much better and like i said that's not all like i have so many mods by this creator it just overrides so many of the foods and makes them look 10 times better so the next mod we're gonna go over is the sultry sims mod another great one of the year for me i started using it not even long ago actually but i love this okay so with this mod you're gonna see some new social interactions well romantic interactions so like under affection we can ask to take a cute selfie so that's one of the options i also included this in a recent video so if you want to see more then just check out my recent mod videos but we may not see them all right now but we can ask to solo woohoo together so basically they're just gonna like do their own thing but together so that's an option there's also some things that i believe are not showing up right now yeah there's definitely some options like there is a naked pillow fight and stuff like there's more things that will pop up it might be because they don't have much of a relationship established yet okay they just had a little romantic time and they're about to go woohoo so love that for them but yeah there is more um interactions for that mod definitely go check it out if you haven't already there's things like confess secret desires so like you can confess your kinks pretty much you can playfully tease okay so now i have some cooking mods to share with you guys we have a few things so we have a home barista maker which comes in adorable swatches like look i freaking love it then we have the toasty maker which is one of my new favorites. And again, the swatches are like so cute. I can't get over it. And then we have the one pot, which is just so convenient. And then we have this hot cocoa machine, which again, so cute. Look at the swatches, so adorable. So we're gonna quickly go through these. We're gonna have Faya come over here and make something. So she's gonna make some hot chocolate. You can also make a latte though. So actually I'll show you that as well. So you can make a pumpkin spice latte salted maple caramel latte gingerbread latte chai latte and the hot cocoa let's have her there's so many you guys like unicorn hot chocolate even melted hot chocolate like there's so many cool ones even just a big hot chocolate like the classic pumpkin spice gingerbread we might make that one that looks delicious let's do it perfect for this time of year you can also make a pot of it which i think we'll do okay so she just pours like the it looks like coffee beans but she's making hot cocoa so that's gonna cook up and while that's doing that let's go ahead and make some coffee so this is the barista one now they can kind of go together so you don't necessarily need both to be honest like as you can see here we can make coffee but we can also make hot chocolate and it's like the same stuff pretty much so let's make coffee and here you're gonna see like all the fancy coffees so many to choose from i don't even know what she should make the mocha looks good but also this one looks delicious this one has a little heart on it so maybe we do that one i just think that's adorable so she's gonna make that and then is this one done okay so she's gonna pour herself a cup isn't that cute so here is what that looks like and there's a little gingerbread man in there you see that oh my gosh so cute so she's gonna drink that and she should get moodless from that as well i'm sure she'll enjoy that while she's pregnant okay and you already got your coffee so look at this how cute 
and there's like other designs and stuff which i just love so next up we're gonna have you come over here and make a one pot meal so this is really cool you can make a plate or a whole meal we're gonna do a meal and look at all of these i posted a picture on twitter recently of how good quality this stuff looks it's insane so we have like spicy lentil stew beef stew cinnamon spiced apple pumpkin chili like there's so much here i'm just gonna like go down the list we have so many different kinds of oatmeal and yeah i love this thing so we're gonna go ahead this one looks so detailed i have to make it but i might go ahead and make a couple things for you guys to show you and then we will also have another sim go ahead and use the toasty maker so this is so cute you can do family serving single serving or party we're gonna do a family for the first one so you guys can see that but look at this are you kidding me sunny side egg toasty ham and cheese raw fish sea foam there's some for like the supernatural so there's like plasma cowberry brie and cranberry apple and camembert fluffer nutter toasty like there is so many you guys there is so so many this one's really adorable they're all really cute i made um two of them in a video the first one and then i made this one in a video as well let's make the or no i think i made i don't know what i made anyways i think we're gonna do the fluffer nutter one so she's gonna make that and here we go look at that it's so cute it like uses the waffle maker animation oh my god of course this would happen like of course it would Oh my goodness. Let's replace these things. Oh my God, is our food even okay? I'm gonna make it again. Oh, this one worked. Okay, we're good. I don't know if it's any good quality. It might be burnt. Oh no, we're good, we're good. Look at that. Are you actually joking? Like I freaked out when I saw that. I can only imagine what all the other foods look like. I'm not gonna worry about it though. And let's just wait for this fluffer nutter. Okay, so we are grabbing, look at that. And there's so many different ones and they're all so cute. Oh, this is, yeah, not cute. Look at this, you guys. It's so cute. My favorite is the one with the egg on top and then like one of them has like berry drizzle. But anyways, so cute. Okay, we need to use the couple here because we have some things to do. You gotta get dressed, girl. Let's make it sunny out. The next one is the more kisses mod. I love this. They're so intimate. They're so nice. So if you go into physical intimacy, you're gonna see more kisses and there's so many in here. Hesitation and kiss, hug and surprise, admire kiss, amores kiss. There's like like so much going on here steamy kiss searing kiss shy kiss the shy kiss is really cute so keep in mind oh oops that's not what i wanted to do keep in mind these are obviously custom animations they might not be perfect but i love them personally so we're gonna have him come out here okay look at this he's gonna look all shy he's like nervous to kiss her so yeah they will like the animations can be a little wonky but i personally love it i i don't know it doesn't bother me it still creates like an intimate moment for photos and stuff if some stuff might be wonky but i think that's okay look we'll go ahead and do grab and kiss oh and there we go she just grabs him and kisses him it's so cute what is going on what do you like oh i think she they like each other yeah the two girls like each other oh no i'm sorry but they're having a good time <laughs> The next mod is the Sim Sim online store. The reason this is in my top mods is because it's so convenient, honestly. So if you go to the shopping tab on your phone, you're gonna see browse Sim Sim store. You can also call the Sim Sim hotline. We're not gonna do that. We're just gonna browse the store. So we're gonna have her do this. Maybe, you know, she needs some baby stuff. She's pregnant, so she's preparing. Okay, so you can go to my Sim Sim store and you can go to account and membership. You can create a basic account or a premium account. We're gonna do premium. And then we can go to previous, previous. And then you'll see here, supermarket and grocery, restaurant and gourmet, wellness, like they're like, look, outdoor and vacation, home and family. It goes on and on. We're gonna go to home and family. And in here, we're gonna be able to purchase a bunch of things. We're gonna go to toddler stuff. I know she's having a baby, but <laughs> we're just gonna go here and grab some stuff. Like how cute is this? Like I, it, it just makes shopping so much more realistic. Like even your CC items will pop up in here. So much stuff is in here. But yeah, not only that, like you can buy electronics, anything you want will be here. So there we go. No, no, no. And then it's just all in our inventory. I feel like it's such a more realistic way to shop. I feel like that realism gameplay, I think you're gonna like that. Okay, so we got him home from school. He's not feeling the greatest, but I have a mod for the teens and that's the standardized teen tests or tests for teens. So this book actually has to do with it. 
So I kind of already like did that with another sim. But if we go into the computer and we go to high school, we're gonna go to Simmer's Aptitude and Knowledge Exam Dashboard. And then you're gonna see sign up for exam, meet with guidance counselor, buy test prep, use free online tools and hire a tutor. So we're gonna sign up for exam. We're also gonna do a couple other things. We're gonna buy test prep and then we can get one of these books. So this time let's get the blue one. We're not answering that. Okay, so it's immediately in our inventory and we can just put it there and we can go ahead and read for insights, study, take notes. So we're going to take notes and then this one has stimulate time to quiz, study, work on practice problems. So yeah, you can do things like that and then you can get a tutor and you can either have them just go and get tutored like they'll leave the lot or you can actually have them come over to the house and get a tutor like one on one at the house like you can be there for it, you know? So that's how that mod works. The next mod I want to share with you guys. Oh my gosh, what is going on? The next mod I want to share with you guys is the relationship bits mod. So if you're in a relationship with someone, you can go ahead and go to actions and you can go to enhanced rel bit and then set enhanced storytelling relationship bits. And this is so cool for storytelling. So you can do this with Sims, even if you're not like in a romantic relationship with them because there's things like gaming buddies and like study buddies. You can also do love hate relationship. Long distance love could be like a whole storyline that you do. We're going to do childhood sweethearts and you can set multiple. So this just is great for storytelling purposes purely. Um, it, yeah, like if you're only going to really like this, if you like to storytell adventure partners, like there's so much here, puppy love, summer romance, romantic wanderers. There's so much. You can also do flirty friends if you like, I feel like that's an interesting storyline. Like they're not dating. Let's do puppy love. So when you do that, it is going to pop up in their relationship, which I think is so cute. And it will have like um, descriptions. Love blossoms in youth, pure as a playful puppy's innocence. It's an endearing and tender affection, brimming with joy, leaving hearts fluttering and cheeks blushing in Caroline and Holden's every encounter. How cute! So they all have like cute little things like that. So this next mod I actually had to show you guys over on their Patreon page. This is the Hotels and Resorts mod. This is by Made by Grumpy. If you really want Hotels and Resorts and you're super impatient, you're gonna love this. So I'm gonna play this for you guys. We're just gonna mute it, but this is so cool. This is like a whole thing, so that's why like I really can't go over it in this video with you guys because it's like this mod is like a whole video on its own. It is such a cool mod. It's like a process. Like look at this. You can literally book your stay. Like you can book your stay on your phone and everything. I thought this was so interesting. And of course there is so many different builds on the gallery you could even use for this. I just think it's so fun. If you're really looking forward to that resort gameplay and it's not here yet, and you really want to be able to check into an actual hotel room, I think this is going to satisfy you for now. Cause I do really think we're going to get it in the Sims 4, but yeah, I just love this. This next mod I also have to show you guys over on Patreon. This is by Jane Simpson, and this is the gradual aging mod. Of course, I can't show you guys in this video because this is a gradual thing that happens like as you keep on playing. This is literally going to make your Sims gradually age instead of just like aging so suddenly. It will even give them gradual gray hair. You can get gray hair treatments. And you, there's also a skincare treatment to reduce the appearance of wrinkles, but treatments may not always go as planned and then your sim might be very mad and blotchy and red. I think this is so cool. Like we need something like this. So next up we have the unicorn mod. I'm actually showing you guys clips from another video I did on this. I did a full review on it and I wanted to do it this way just because I feel like this review, I went all in depth with it. So I was like, you know what? If we're going to properly show off this unicorn mod, I got to do it this way. So this, of course you're going to need horse ranch, but oh my God, this is amazing. Like I was blown away. They really make them feel like actual unicorns, not just pretend unicorns. They will have magic. Their horn will sparkle, but like they'll also float and they'll be able to do things to the plants and everything. There's also even new lot traits like Rainbow's End. So this is where like unicorns will spawn in at this location. And then we do get new moodlets, potential magical aura, which is so cool. And then here's a unicorn literally floating like they're sleeping. And then there's unicorn poop. Like it looks like unicorn poop. <laughs> So there's also unicorn horn dust and it is known to be the source of its magic. 
And when you use the unicorn dust on yourself, you'll get some magic. So then you'll get like trial by magic. And then you're gonna be able to travel to Sylvian Glade and tr or travel to the magic realm. And then once you're at Sylvian Glade, you're gonna be able to look for a unicorn. And you can see here, she just found one. I, you basically have to click on the ground and then you can go explore for a unicorn. And this time she found an evil unicorn. So this is not a good unicorn. So mythical beast, Amethyst discovered a unicorn. So you get this moodlet whenever you do find a unicorn. Another option you'll have is to bind as familiar. And then you can do things like bless a plant. So you can bless it or curse it. And you know, a good unicorn will wanna bless it. Whereas an evil unicorn might wanna curse it. So we can have this other unicorn come and curse it and that's what this looks like. So it's going to completely like destroy the plant. So another option is you can smite. You can bless, smite, and curse. So those are three different options that you can do with your unicorns. And now we literally have the Grim Reaper here. So... <laughs> Yeah, like you can do tons of things with these unicorns, but I feel like I've shown you guys enough with that. There's more to it. It's really, really cool. They're super magical. It also makes you want to go into Sylvian Glade more. I feel like it just makes it more purposeful. But yeah, that is all the mods I have for you today, you guys. Of course, there's more mods that came out this year, but these to me are just like the top mods in my opinion anyways. I think this is a pretty good list. If you grab all these mods, you're going to feel so fulfilled. Your game is going to have so much going on. And yeah, I'm going to have all of these linked down below. Like I said, I'm pretty sure only one of these is in early access because it just came out recently, which is the fruity dating one. Of course, that will become free shortly, so you don't have to worry about that. But anyways, you guys, check the links down below if you'd like to add these to your game. And with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys are all having an amazing day and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.